One of uh, the senior most advocates of the country, Hari Salvi, spoke to India Today's legal editor, Nalini Sharma, about what precisely are the reasons that he has been supportive of CAA, how does it stand in the court, in the legal process. Here's an important interaction. Listen in. Just days after the Citizenship Amendment Act finally came into implementation, India Today has an exclusive conversation with senior advocate and King's Counsel in London, Mr. Hari Salve. Thank you, sir, so much for speaking to us. Your first thoughts, four years after it was first introduced, the CAA has finally come into effect and it's being met with a lot of opposition from activists, from opposition parties. What are your thoughts? I've, um, I've said this before and I'm saying it again. Uh, I've uh, not understood where this opposition stands from. I, I saw a speech by the Home Minister, I didn't know this fact, that right from the beginning, in fact, even Congress Party had said that all those refugees who have come from a neighboring country, that time there was a Bangladesh, because Pakistan, later in, from Afghanistan, we should house them because if Hindus, Christians, Jains, Sikhs, who were a large part of the population of Pakistan, have uh, forced its uh, becoming a theocratic state, felt a sense of alienation, and if they want to come to India, it's, it's logical that India gives them citizenship. And that's what we have done. So the suggestion that if you have to give citizenship to one class of oppressed people, you must extend this to the whole wide world. To me, makes no sense. Ultimately, whom we want to give, these are people of Indian ethnicity. And they are being discriminated intra in, in an inter-religion context, not intra-religion. Even, even within every religion, we hear complaints about everybody not being treated equally, but that's a matter for that religion to have. But between religions, when there is a theocratic state, there is a qualitative difference. In a theocratic state, if you don't belong to the religion of that state, a lot of states treat you in a manner which some people consider discriminatory. And if you want to migrate, the ethnicity is India. There was no Pakistan until 1947. We are all the same stuff. If you want to give them citizenship, I simply cannot fathom any but reason. The, but the biggest criticism against the CAA is that it is violative of Article 14. And Article 14 grants every person, not just every citizen, but every person equal protection under the law. So when you discriminate on the India. right, you're in India. I have an equal right to contest for American elections. I'd love to try and fight against Trump. The American Constitution also guarantees equal protection of all, equal protection to all Americans, not necessarily American citizens, but to all Americans. Our Constitution guarantees equal protection of Indian laws to all Indians. Can an English person come and say, why are you giving visas to the French? Why not to me? How am I, how am I different? Can the Chinese today complain saying, it's not fair. People from Thailand are given visas. People from other Asian countries are given visas. Why not us? But surely... I don't this argument. No, but surely the answer can't be as simple as that. Because since it's, the time... It is as simple as that. It is quite as simple as that. You want to go and say India should, as a policy, open its doors to people who are victimized outside India. That's a policy choice. Right. In the country in which I live now, United Kingdom, they opened their doors and now they, they have a problem with asylum seekers. And the, and the immigration system is about to collapse. If it is, some people say it's already collapsed. So those are policy choices. Those are not constitutional arguments. Let's be very clear. Right. But when your country as a basic, it's part of the basic structure that the country is secular. So when in a secular country, you're discriminating against somebody solely on the basis of what religion they come from. No, you're not. Tell me which Indian is affected by this. I'm not talking of Indian citizen. Can you say there is a discrimination against Chinese solely on basis of their ethnicity or their place? There's an equal bar. <laughs> what are, we are talking constitutional law. Correct. And we, are, we are not talking policy. 
Yes, you want to be a liberal heart, go right ahead. If the country has the resources, get all the troubled people of the world and house them in India. We don't have enough problems of our own, right? We are a very rich country with everybody living way above the uh, affluence line. Get everybody in. But I don't understand this constitutional argument. 